Hi, Aspirant. This is Ranjit from Central Aviation Academy. Banking Aspirant's most expected PU examination notification release. So, of course, uh, the happiest news is nothing but 6,000 vacancies are given by this year. When I compare to the previous year, they have given only 4,000 vacancies. By this year, they have given 6,000 vacancies. Of course, uh, banking students are disappointed last month because of the clerical examination, they announced only the less number of vacancies in the state wise. But this is very happy news for uh, banking aspirants because 6,000 vacancies, that is, uh, uh, it's a big uh, opportunity. At the same time, it's a good number. Right. So let's see what are the vacancies given in the bank. Of course, uh, 11 banks are participating. But around 11 banks is there. Some banks are participating and some banks mentioned like NR, not reported. Not reported means it might be vacancy increases. They will be announced later. So individual bank, they will announce the later so that uh, it might be increases. Whether it is increases or not, it doesn't matter because uh, 6,000 vacancy, it's a good number. So student, we need only one vacancies so that we are looking for that. Here, the major contribution like uh, Canada Bank, 2,500 vacancies. Major contribution, Canada Bank, 2,500 vacancies are given. Here, even um, like uh, SBI, SBI PO, they announced only 2,000 vacancies from the previous year. But Canada Bank, they announced 2,500 vacancies. The next one, Yuko Bank, announced 2,094 vacancies. Around 6,400 vacancies, 6,500. It's supposed to be NR, not reported. It's supposed to be, they, they will report it later. It might be increases. You may get 7,000 or 7,500, right? So that if they are not announced uh, later, so it doesn't matter because 6,500 is more than that, right? So let's see what is the notification and what are the details. We'll discuss about all those things. What is the age criteria, educational qualification. Then after that, uh, what is the, what are the syllabus? What is the exam timing? What is the previous year cutoff? We discussed about everything, right? So let's see. What is the application date? Let's see the application date. Let's see online registration, including edit and modification. 2-8-22-22-8-2022. Of course, it starts from 2nd August and then with 22 August. We have only 20 days in our hand. So only the limited time has given. So 20 days. Right. Next, next one is payment uh, application fees. So that is also the same date. Download of all the pre-exam training. So those who are belongs to SCSC category, they applied pre-exam training, they given pre-exam training. It starts from September and October 2022. Then conduct a pre-exam training, of course, in September, October 2022. Download of all letters for online examination, prelims, of course, both online and offline. Everything should be um, like uh, online examination, preliminary and mains examination. So that even descriptive also, uh, it's you are using a keyboard only. So that is also online. Right? So that is not a pen and paper examination. Online examination preliminary, a download call letter October 20, uh, 20, 2022. Then online examination preliminary October 2022. Maybe uh, October 15th after 15th, maybe. So result of online exam preliminary in November. So that next month they will announce the uh, notification. I mean, uh, uh, those who clear the examination, they will announce November 2022. So you are qualifying for the next level. So preliminary mark, it's only considered qualification. It's a qualifying nature. So after that, you are, um, I mean, after that next, uh, you are qualifying for the next level, so main exam. Next, download call letter for main examination, November 2022. Then online examination means November 2022. Declaration of result means December 2022. After the download of call letter, you are eligible for interview. So interview call letter, you can download January or February 2023. So conduct of interview like January 2023, it might be the last week of January or the first week of February. Provisionally allotment, of course, uh, April 1st, 2023. You come to know, know about that, which bank you are going to use. So that uh, they're given every details on April 1st, 2020, which so that uh, actually the process time is around uh, it's just about six months to eight months. 
in the next one is nothing but eligibility criteria let's see eligibility criteria so the eligibility criteria let's see the eligibility criteria so only the citizen uh, indian citizen can apply this examination the first criteria the second criteria age minimum 20 years maximum 30 years as on date clearly given 1-8-2022. So when I consider 1-8-2022, your age is, uh, I mean, could not less than 20 years, could not more than 30 years. As on date 1-8-2022. Okay. So at the same time, those who have, I mean, I, I mean, if it is those who are getting a maximum age 30 years, they're given age relaxation also. Like uh, SCSC, five years of age relaxation, OBC, three years of age relaxation. Next quali I mean, qualification, next qualification, educational qualification. Of course, any degree in any discipline from a university recognized by the government of India. Of course, uh, they are expecting any degree, any stream, whatever it is. Uh, at the same time, they, they never mention like a percentage, like 60 percentage, 50 percentage. It is not required. So if you are a uh, graduate, you can apply this examination. So specifically, which is not mentioned 65 degree, 65 percentage, like 55 percentage, they didn't mention anything. So you can eligible, uh, whether you are, I mean, once you are graduate, you can eligible for this assignment. Next one, educational qualification. And the very important thing, as on date clearly given 22-8-2022. Before 22-8-2022, yeah, you are getting a result. If you are, get a, if you are getting a result before 22-8-2022, so you are eligible for the examination. If you are right final semester, but you are not, not getting a result means you are not eligible for this examination. So before 20, I mean, before 2022, second, 22nd August, so you, are, you, are, you, are, you got what result? If you are not getting a result, you are not eligible. So clearly mention the date. Next one. Next one, some criteria is has given for uh, BA category, like um, then um, uh, hearing impaired, HA category. So these are the given. Now we discuss syllabus. For preliminary examination, we are going to be testing three sections, English language, quantitative aptitude, then reasoning ability. So English, 30 question, 30 is the maximum mark. Each question, each one mark. So quantitative aptitude, 35 question, 35 marks. Reasoning ability, 35 question, 35 marks. So total, 100 question, 100 marks. Medium of exam like uh, English and Hindi, you can view either English or Hindi. The next one, 20 minutes each language. 20 uh, each section you have uh, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes. Actually, section timing is also there. Sectional cutoff is also there. Then uh, this is very important because the sectional cutoff and sectional timing. You have to handle both like sectional timing, sectional cutoff, and overall cutoff. So these are the very important each section you have 20 minutes of time. So there is no composite time has given. So each section clearly mentioned 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, right? So last year, previous year cut off. Actually, previous year, 50.5 is the maximum cut off. So here the cut off has taken for the general category because uh, there is a maximum mark, right? So here I mentioned the maximum mark 50.5 cut off. So 50 point Five is the maximum cutoff for prelims out of 100. Out of 100. And you have a penalty mark. If one question is wrong, 0 0.25 is the penalty mark. One fourth is the penalty mark. Right. So that you have to handle uh, all the situation, even one or 20 seconds, sectional cutoff, sectional timing, overall cutoff, and you have control the negative marks, negative questions. So don't attend the negative marks because it is not preferable. So whatever you, are, you you come to know about the right answer, so that is the first preferable, right? So that you can attend uh, and I mean uh, exact answer. So otherwise you just leave it. If you are not getting the questions, just leave it, right? So that uh, 50.5 out of 100 is the minimum cutoff when I compare to the previous the 2020. The next one. So those who are eligible for preliminary examination, if uh, if you are getting more than that, I mean if you are clear the sectional cutoff and the overall cutoff. Uh, you are qualifying for the second level, like mains examination. In that mains examination, reasoning and computer aptitude, 45 questions, 60 marks. So that 60 minutes has given. 
general awareness, economy, banking awareness. So that uh, 40 questions, 40 is the maximum mark, 35 minutes as given. So here also the sectional timing as given. English language, 35 questions, 40 marks, 40 minutes. Data analysis and interpretation, quantitative attitude, 35 questions, 60 marks. English and Hindi, you can view one English and English or Hindi, 45 minutes. Actually, what is the sectional timing? 45 minutes. So here also there is no composite time. So sectional time has given total time three hours. Even movie, it has only two and a half hours, right? But here, three hours time as well as along with that, you can write descriptive paper. So descriptive paper, English language, letter writing, essay writing. So two questions, 25 marks. So all, everything should be included. So 225 marks. Total 225 marks. In the previous year, 225 marks. If you are getting 80, this is also the maximum mark I consider from the uh, like oh, general category. So those who are getting 80 marks, they, they have cleared the kata, minimum kata. Actually, if you are getting more than 20, definitely you will be get a job. Definitely you will be getting a job, right? So that uh, whenever the cutoff is as given, so your score will become more than the cutoff. So 80 is if 80 as given, you will be secure more than 20 or 25 plus. If you are getting uh, whatever the cutoff, they are going to set the cutoff. Uh, if you are getting like more than 20 or 25 plus, definitely you will be getting the job. Definitely you will be get the job. All right. So the, here the section, section, reason, ones. Then uh, why we have why they are given uh, 80 is a cutoff means the paper also was very difficult uh, in the last year previous year question paper of course it was a very difficult so how we are going to handle this situation it's supposed to be the question paper as difficult so you, you are going to handle this situ situation because uh, everyone you you will be clear in the preliminary examination you are very strong in the safe zone area like uh, uh, number series. And um, like uh, application sums, whatever it is, if you are very strong in the safe zone area, so that uh, you'll be very, if you are comfortable in the safe zone area, you can be able to write the questions, right? You can, you can able to write the, you can able to write a uh, question with the answers. So that at the same time, uh, at the same time, uh, here, uh, 80 is the minimum cutoff, right? So that if you are very strong in current affairs, if you are very strong in current affairs, definitely you will be getting more than 80 plus. So current affairs is playing a vital role in the mains examination. So that uh, if you are very strong in current affairs, then definitely you'll be getting secure award more than 80 plus. And the next one, uh, like uh, when I compare to mains and interview, so they are going to be considered like mains mark 80 percentage, then interview mark 20 percentage. So 80 is the 20 ratio. 80 is to 20 is the ratio. Both mains and interview, Right, both means and inter both means and the interview. If you are secure like sixty percentage, sixty to seventy percentage, definitely will be get the job. Sixty to seventy. Last year cut off sixty to seventy percentage. Seventy percentage is a mark out of hundred. They are considered out of hundred. So eighty percentage is the maximum. I mean, means mark twenty percentage is nothing but what interview marks. Right, they consider overall hundred percentage. Once you are secure sixty to seventy percentage, you can be able to clear this examination so before that you will be very strong with the current affairs right so whether they they can ask paper you can section or in the reasoning section is very difficult or easy doesn't matter they never asking easy question they asking whether it is moderate some of the questions out of uh, 45 questions reasoning some of the question asking moderate and uh, maximum question they asking very difficult so that you will be handled the moderate questions so how you are going to moderate, I mean, how you are going to handle this moderate question, we'll discuss about later. Okay. So that uh, these are the, what, mains examination pattern and uh, those who clear mains examination, you'll be eligible for interview. They consider interview 100 marks. So total 80 is to 20 is the ratio. Mains mark consider 80, then interview mark consider 20, finally. So they, uh, they, they, I mean, they, they, they confirmed it 100 marks. 100 marks. So let's see, we discuss about the scripty paper, actually English language, letter writing and essay writing. So two questions, 25 marks, 30 minutes are given. So total exam timing, three hours, 30 minutes. So three hours, 30 minutes. Actually, the scripty paper, 
letter writing essay writing they have given two types of letter writing one is formal another one is informal then next one is essay writing so that uh, these two questions they have given 25 marks okay. so that all the best all the banking aspirant students so that uh, we'll discuss about how to uh, manage the time for the preliminary examination and how to manage the time for mains examination so we'll discuss about later on thank you